I don't think anybody ever stops learning and I will definitely never stop wanting to learn. When, when I was 10 or 11, the, my third grade teacher, she sent a letter home to my mom because I was, I was being bad in class. I was telling too many jokes, being the class clown, because I would be distracted by the material, which my mom had taught me before. And once, once she got this letter, she got super mad and had a conference with, with my teacher. At that conference, my, my teacher told her that uh, I needed something else after school to, to distract me so that, so that I could focus at, um, in school and on that other thing and not distract the other kids. So, so my mom thought, you know, he could learn piano or, you know what, let's make him learn Chinese. <laughs> so so I, I took my first Chinese class then and, okay, I, I'm not going to lie, I, I hated it. I was like, what is this for? I, I don't even think I'll ever use this in the future. But then, as the years went by, and I, I got better and better at it, and I, I actually learned to love the language, and all the opportunities I, I've been able to receive because of it. I, I went to China last summer. I met a bunch of amazing people. I, 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 still, have, I still have their phone numbers, and we text every now and then. And it, it's just amazing how many opportunities every language op opens up. After climbing that steep hill, it, uh, other languages seem, seem a little bit easier for me to, to start learning. I would say my favorite language is Esperanto because its, it's goal is to be the world language and unite all peoples together. Its, its goal and its, I, I, its main object, objective is for everybody to speak this language that's so easy to learn that you can pick it up on a weekend. I've helped people in all the languages that I can help them in. I've helped people from Spanish, fr from Mexico and Spain. I've helped people from Brazil, from China, from Italy. And I, I even helped someone from Russia, even though not, not with Italian. Not, not with Russian, I mean. I, I helped them with Italian. You get to teach someone that's almost at a level of zero and you can watch them evolve with the language almost. You, you, you see this person at, at, at a supermarket that, that you were tutoring and, and then you, you just sit there in awe because they, they can command the language so well from, from what you've taught them. If you can teach them the grammar rules and, and then they, ju they just pick up the vocabulary themselves. It, it's just amazing. Finnish Fable uses nice pixel art 2D graphics and give, giving it a nice retro feel. And I, I made those myself. I'm quite proud of them because it took me a bit of work. I'm, I'm going into engineering and I, I'm not much of an artsy person, but figured it out. And after that, I thought, you know what? I might as well go ahead and make music for it. Yeah. So I just got it, bought a mic, and then recorded me on the piano. First time, horrible. I, I had to get some awesome software to fix it up. Now, it's really good. I, I even got sound effects for it. I recorded my voice for the jump animation. And since I couldn't get my dog to howl at the right time, I had to howl too. The key really is time management. You, you don't just split everything out in your day. You have to plan out every week. Every night before I go to sleep, I actually plan out the day ahead of me to make sure I get everything done that I need to and have space for things that I want to. So sometimes when, when I don't plan right and, and then I have to procrastinate, well I don't have to, but I do procrastinate, then it, it does, it does kind of take a toll after not sleeping well, not eating well, but it, it gets better once, once you learn how to plan. The biggest thing that separates Bryan Collegiate from any other school is that at Bryan Collegiate you can get to know your teachers and the staff Everybody on campus, even the students, you can know them on a personal level. Well, directly after high school, I, I plan on attending Texas A&M in their engineering college. I, I got accepted into their honors college and I, uh, I'll be majoring in aerospace engineering. After, after I finished my bachelor's and master's degree, I plan on starting my own company.